Hi there guys, welcome back to another Neustroid app setup video. So this is the part 3 and hopefully we have to expand the part into part 4. And the reason is that I have made a couple of the changes to the existing application. So, so those who already purchased the application, I mean the Neustroid source code, then they will be getting the update for free into the mail address. And you can, you know, if you have purchased it, then you can expect the updated source code within, uh, I mean, a couple of the hours and you will be uh, getting that for free. And those who are interested to buy the source code, then here is the good news. You will be getting the updated and the most latest source code of the new Android application, which means that it contain even more new features. So I have also I have now added the uh, three different styles of home screen and as you guys can see on the screen this is the style 1 and this is a uh, st uh, style 2 and this is the style 3 so now you have three different styles and you can switch between that using the Android Studio code and also I have simplified everything for those who uh, have no any kind of experience with the Android Studio now it, now anyone can easily set up the application so all you need to do is that open your project in Android Studio and just move to the app folder and go to the Java then go to your package name and now you have to simply locate this file activity config and once you open that now as you guys can see I have arranged everything for the most easiest way so now you can simply uh, first uh, let me introduce these codes to you so the first one is that boolean admin app so admin app is currently false which means that if it is set to false then it will be going to create the user version apk and which can which actually remove the uh, new post button and also remove the uh, delete post button now if you just set it into true then the application then the android studio will be uh, deb it will be generating the you know admin version of the application so you can use this code true or false to switch between that and the next thing is that the style 1 style 2 and style 3 like i mentioned you can the default is style 1 which is the one that we have in the uh, current version of the application and if you want to choose this style 2 to your home page then you can choose that and we have the style 3 then you can simply change it into 3 then it will be the third style now the next part is really important and you have to change it according to you and your application I mean the content of your application so if your application is about you know uh, all kind of news then here it is you can use the worldwide or something that general news or something like that so if you are focusing on sports then you can change it into sports and basically where it is actually user is when you when the user share your application with their, their friends then there will be you know some text like hey check out the application uh, which posts news on uh, you know politics or sports or all kind of news then worldwide and you know I have uh, designed it in that way so you have to change it according to you now for example I have added it is it has politics now next part comes very interesting now you have the facility to show the banner ad. you can if you want to show then you can set it into true and if you want to sh show the industrial ad then you can just switch it into true in this case I want to you know uh, some users interested in to be false so I just added to it has false by default but you can also make it true and show the industrial ad to the users and the next thing is really interesting which is something that most people are really looking for in their application and that is the continuous ads now if you let's say if you have an android application or you are the customer you are the user of the application then if you open the application and every 20 seconds it will be showing the industrial ad on the screen like a pop-up and that way you can you know make more money and that's if you want to just enable that you can set it into true otherwise you can set it into false and next come the ad uh, the banner top this is the top banner like you have seen right now on the screen the top banner which is actually shown in the uh, post in the full screen post then you will be having the 
top banner and the bottom banner and this is the bottom banner you can change the add unit id from this file so that you don't have to go to the string.xml and change it manually so you can do all those things within this uh, i mean the yeah java class that is a new update that i have brought into this new source code and you have the interstitial add which you can also change and next comes the divider between each post on the home screen and if you want to enable that you can just true make it true but it default it is false and i suggest you to do that to false unless you really want to do that next come the social and this all this is not actually your link this is actually the uh, i mean the user id for example we have the facebook so let me show you it will be https your link will be like facebook i mean okay facebook.com slash then this thing like sports hunter app we can change it into if you have news droid a page with the name news droid then you can just add it as news droid so you don't have to actually add the full link instead you can just copy this thing and paste it here and same applies to this and every other things so if you have a different id then you can just provide that okay so that's for now and the next time the next update that i have brought into this version is that i have also changed the home screen and i mean like around 50 percentage i have optimized the code and improved the you know the working performance and that way the app is loading you know around more than 50 percentage faster than previous time so that is a great thing and uh, one more uh, update coming is that your news droid application will be going to support a video facility which means that you can post your videos along with images and also you can post the links to youtube video and that will be shown along with the post content so there are more updates coming in the future and hopefully i believe that you already bought the uh, source score new stroid application source score and if you have bought that then the good news is that you will be getting all this update and in the coming in the future update for free and those who are uh, who are interested to buy the source score i suggest you to do that really faster because you are missing a lot of features now and you know uh, as soon as you start that you can just publish it on play store and make money and also you will be getting a lot of other features in the coming days so stay tuned and in the next video uh, i have uh, i'm actually you know expanding this a little bit i know that but still we have to focus on all the parts of the application so in the coming video which will be, which will be possibly the last video for this new stroid and in that video we'll be going to you know fully set up the automated notification system and i know that it's it, it take a little bit time so that i'm just doing that in a full different video so uh, there will be four different parts which is the basic parts and maybe i will be doing the fifth part and uh, which is actually for the you know new features and uh, there will be more parts coming in the future like the sixth seven and eight and like that and uh, th those parts will be teaching you that how to how to just you know uh, change the uh, style of uh, a special thing which we add in the coming days into the application and so on so if you have uh, actually you know once again i'm repeating that you, if you have already bought the application i mean bought the source code then you will be receiving the updated source code into your mail which you actually use it to contact me or which you have given me for the for receiving the uh, source core and if you're interested to buy that buy the source core then uh, of course you are always welcome you can buy that and 100% uh, sure that you will be receiving the you will be receiving the future updates for free there will be no cost at all so uh, yeah that's for now and i'm really excited to see what you're gonna do with your application so anyway thanks for watching and i see you guys in the next one